What is up? This is Politicking with Precious, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friend. Listen, every day, new shit is coming out about this Diddy shit. New allegations, new cases, new lawsuits, new information, and more people getting thrown in the mix. This has been the most disgusting case of 2024. Do y'all hear me? Look, I stopped smoking three years ago. Listen, life be life in this. So does this case. This case is like, what the fuck is really going on? I need to smoke because this world is loony tunes. Do you hear me? Listen, every there's six new lawsuits that came out as of yesterday, October 14th. Accusing Diddy of basically the same thing. These forced freak-offs. We ain't gonna just call them freak-offs. They forced freak-offs. Forced freak-off marathons. Okay. But people are so wrapped up in these six lawsuits that just came out. People are so wrapped up and not saying that they shouldn't be. But people are hung up on the fact that it was um, just, you know, men and the fact that it was a minor child mixed involved in the situation too, who had been um, essayed, I'm not going to say allegedly, essayed <laughs> by the Dittler. Um, nobody be smoking. My whole thing is people's not talking about the bodyguard of Diddy got essayed by Diddy. Diddy essayed his bodyguard. Are y'all are y'all hearing me? Diddy essayed his bodyguard in a van, drugged him and essayed him outside in a van. Ain't none of this shit alleged. Ain't no man coming out. Say, boy, what? And listen, let me address the man real quick. The man who who claims that, you know, but Especially, still claiming now that this whole thing is like, for the most part, a money grab. Listen, proje projection is real. Projection is real. And what you have in your mind... That's what's gonna come out. That's what you're gonna think. That's how you're gonna think other people operate. Men kill me thinking that all these women is just out to you get their money. First of all, it's mainly the ones without money that be saying the bitch want them for their money. Second of all, and this is the main point, second of all. People who are saying this is a money grab be the main ones who are bending over for a million dollars. Oh, yeah, you'll grab your ankles for a million dollars. You're the whore. You're the one who's up for a money for a money grab. You the one who want a bag from the diddler. You the one who would get sexually forced for some money. This type of shit you'll do. This type of shit you'll do. I'm convinced that men are the biggest horse for money. They feel like money bring them prestige and power and, you know, all this shit. And I think they're the ones who will do a little bit of anything for some money. They're the ones who will do something a little strange for a piece of change. I'm convinced. But I don't think that's what happened to this bodyguard. Now, listen. Nobody is talking about this bodyguard who been essayed. And it brings me back to Roger Bonds. Even though it wasn't Roger Bonds. Roger Bonds stopped working for the Diddler in 2012. This happened in 2021 when he was still with Carisha. Yeah. He was still with Carisha. 2021. 
Diddy in his 50s. That's saying men. Taking it from men in a van. You know how ruthless you gotta be to bend another man over in the back of a van and... <sighs> the man said when he got to safety, there was semen coming out of him. Flowing out of him. Diddy must have really enjoyed that. It's sick. It's sick. And he sounds like the type of man who can't get off unless he Who takes. is this bodyguard? Because we haven't heard anything. Fahim Muhammad was the head of security guards um, in 2021. I looked it up so you don't have to. Fahim Muhammad was the head of security guards, but of course that wasn't the only security guard. But Diddy took a grown man in 2021, just a few years back, 2021, we still in COVID. And he's taking niggas in the back of vans, drugging them and taking them, taking their manhood. And it makes me think of Roger Bonds only because that wasn't, that wasn't the bodyguard. But when that boy, the other allegation that came out, the other of the six that came out yesterday, um, that boy said that in Macy's, the bodyguards is the ones who hit him with the gun in the back of the neck and was telling him he'll kill him and all this stuff if he ain't followed the demands of Diddy. That's when Roger Bonds was on board. So... I know Roger Bonson seen all this shit take place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely seen some shit take place. And Roger Bonds has such an unusual take on why he's coming to the forefront with all this stuff. First of all, he said his son got locked up over in Africa. He needed Diddy's help. He needed some money yuns. He needed some money yuns. He was low on his fun yuns. Um, to help his son out. I mean, yeah, your homeboy's supposed to be there for you or whatever, whatnot. But the way he was deeply hurt. Deeply hurt. It wasn't just, oh, we got this bond. I was his security guard. I saved his life. Mm-mm. He made the expressions. The body language of a woman. Like she was hurt her man didn't wasn't there when, when she needed him. Hurt her man didn't have her, her back. Hurt that her man turned the back on her. And she was so loyal. I'm talking about Roger. I'm talking about Roger now. I know people don't like when I hit home like that. People don't like when I talk that talk like that. They don't. But the dates are dating. Diddy didn't mind taking it from anybody, including his own bodyguards, including his own bodyguard. I mean, how, how, how is this sitting with y'all? How is this sitting with y'all? Because at this point, everybody's complicit. Everybody's guilty. Everybody. Everybody who was around him. Around him. So bodyguards held a man in the back room of a large retail store. And they said Macy's and Marriott are co-defendants on the case too. Yeah, they're being sued too. And it don't surprise me because Macy's is hurrying up and shutting down a bunch of stores across the United States. And I'm like, Macy's that are all companies. A big retail store that has zero debt. Closing down stores? Why? They make plenty money. I was one of the top managers there. We stay getting bonuses because we stay hitting them numbers. They, they about that number game at Macy's. They taught me well. 
They about that number game. And they have us competing with all the stores across the, the whole United States. The other Macy stores. They comparing us constantly with the numbers. Constantly. Constantly. Oh, they keep their business tight. But I did know it was some funny-ass shit going on in Macy's. I could tell that was a mm, weird environment. So it actually does not surprise me that Macy's CEO covered it up. Does not. Macy's is a racist company. Macy's really only want... Um, Drugged out, loped out. Listen, we ain't even gonna go there. Listen, Macy's is full of shit. And I bet they are shutting down stores and trying to cut down on their assets so they don't have to pay it all out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They moving that money around is what they're doing. Is what they're doing. But who do y'all think is the bodyguard? There was literally a bodyguard that he took advantage of in the back of a van. How ruthless can you be? Like, he does not need to be out in these streets. I would hate to see him as a regular person out here in these streets. And there's people out here really walking around like that. Something's wrong with Diddy. Period. Something's wrong with him. And something was wrong with him before he came across Clive Davis. By the time he was he was around Clive Davis, oh, he was with the shits. Because they said he was off the motherfucking chains in high school and in college. And I believe in college is when he met Clive Davis and ended up dropping out because he was offered a nice gig to take over Harrell's position. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Ain't none of those people lying. Ain't none of those people lying. And these these lawyers is definitely, because they know it's a high-profile case, you think they're not vetting these people? they not bringing cases to the forefront first? The first set of cases they bring to the forefront? You better believe they got actual factual facts. Actual factual. Oh, it's actual factual. Diddy can't buy his way out of this. He can't buy his way out of this. And I hope. I hope, I sincerely hope that he start naming names. I hope he's cooperating like everybody else is cooperating against them and turning their back against him. I really hope that he is. The only reason that I can come up with that he may not is to save his children's life. But one, one or two of his sons is up next. Oh, and that's a fact. One or two of his sons is up next. I don't know, but y'all tell me what y'all think. Listen, this is Politica with Precious, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friend. Y'all know what people say at the end of the videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. It don't cost you a thing to roll with me, okay? I'm not the dealer. Like this video. Talk to he came guys. across Clive Davis. By the time he was, he was around Clive Davis, oh, he was with the shits. Because they said he was off the motherfucking chains in high school and in college. And I believe in college is when he met Clive Davis and ended up dropping out because he was offered a nice gig to take over Harrell's position. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Ain't none of those people lying. Ain't none of those people lying. And these, these lawyers is definitely, because they know it's a high profile case, you think they not vetting these people? They not bringing cases to the forefront First, the first set of cases they bring to the forefront, you better believe they got actual factual facts. Actual factual. Oh, it's actual factual. Diddy can't buy his way out of this. He can't buy his way out of this. And I hope, I hope, I sincerely hope that he start naming names. I hope he's cooperating. Like everybody else is cooperating against them and turning their back against him. I really hope that he is. The only reason that I can come up with that he may not is to save his children's life. But one, one or two of his sons is up next. Oh, and that's a fact. One or two of his sons is up next. I don't know, but y'all tell me what y'all think. Listen, 
This is Politic of Precious, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friend. Y'all know what people say at the end of the videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. It don't cost you a thing to roll with me, okay? I'm not the dealer. Like this video. Talk to y'all later.